come on we all don't have a super computer so when you're editing a video in adobe premiere pro sometimes it may lag so today i'm going to tell you about some tips and tricks that you can follow to first end up your premiere pro experience a little bit more so the first thing is when you are editing a video suppose this is a project that i have opened right if i feel any lagginess when i'm playing back you can just go here on your program monitor and under here you will see the resolution that you can choose to play back the video right right now it is full so if your computer is having trouble playing back the video if i press the space bar you'll see the video is playing smoothly right but if you feel there is a lagginess then you can just click here and from here you can change the resolution playback resolution from here right if you select half then the resolution of the playing back video will decrease a little bit if i play it back you will see there is a blurriness again if i make it one by four if i play it back you can see the playback experience will go a little bit lower but again it will do the job right so you can do that if your computer is having trouble playing back your video the next thing that you can go you can go here on the premiere pro menu and from here you can go to settings and under settings you can go to general right so there you'll see the preference window is here from here you can change some parameter to speed up your work experience a little bit more the first one is if you go here on the memory section you can reserve the ram memory for premiere pro to use suppose you want to use 4 gigabyte of ram for other application while you are running adobe premiere pro you can just write down 4 here so that the ram reserved for other application will be 4 gb right and another 12 gb because my mac mini has 16 gb of ram so here 12 gb is available for premiere pro it will speed up your work experience a little bit more when you are working with 4k footage or when you are working with a big project the next thing you can do if you go here on the media cache section you can delete the media cache with a interval right if you delete it it will delete the previous projects media cache from your computer and it will free up some space again if you have free space on your computer on your local drive it will give you a better experience the next one is media cache database select a drive that is fast you have to choose the fastest drive of your computer to save the media cache database it will improve the performance and next to that you can choose media cache management and from here we can automatically delete the cache file older than suppose you want to delete the files older than 10 days because you don't need to work on that project again right so you can just write 10 then premiere pro will automatically delete the media cache that is older than 10 days that will save you a lot of time you don't need to delete the media cache files again and again right the next thing is if you go here on this media section you have to enable harder accelerated decoding that will improve the playback speed on your timeline dramatically if that is not enabled you have to enable that so that you can get better experience right so that is all from here which is the preference you can now play back the video and see if there is any improvement so if that is not solving the issue and again if you are feeling there is a lagginess here on your timeline if you play it back then you can go to here on this file and from here you have to go to project settings select general then this panel will appear and from here just check if that is not selected which is renderer mercury playback engine gpu acceleration if that is not selected if there is something softer acceleration then you have to choose it to gpu acceleration it will improve the performance if you don't have any external gpu or supported gpu then maybe you will not able to select that in that case it is better to add a gpu and if you add a gpu you'll get a dramatic improvement while you are editing the video so that is the thing that you can do to speed up the work experience in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one and then goodbye <laughs>